open myself to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. I open myself to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. My Lord, I need understanding and power. I ask for your counsel and mind. Give me your wisdom, of God. I open myself to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. I need to bear fruit, my Lord. Joy, peace, patience, and love I want to be gentle and kind Give me self-control of God I open myself to your grace, O oh Lord I open myself to your love I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord Send down your fire from above from above I open myself to your grace oh Lord I open myself to your love I open myself to your spirit oh Lord send down your fire from above send down your fire from above hello welcome back to this special novena for the gifts of the Holy Spirit I am Anila Rana your prayer guide on this nine day journey towards Pentecost Today is day three and we're going to pray for the gift of piety. Piety is defined as reverence for God or devout fulfillment of religious obligations. Well that is not incorrect but the problem with definitions is that they tend to be very limited. They also tend to be worldly in the sense of being defined in human terms. What we need to realize especially now when we're doing this novena is that the gifts we're praying for are not worldly. They are heavenly or if you like godly. So we need to look at them differently. Let me explain this in a little more detail because this is really important. As people who live in the world, we have a certain worldly way of looking at things. For instance, consider love. Love in the world tends to be largely selfish and conditional. I will love you if you love me. It's the way the world sees love. But the heavenly way of looking at love is very different. It is self-sacrificing and unconditional. We see this exemplified in Jesus. So if we are to love like Jesus, we have to start looking at things differently. We need to start to look at things the way he looks at things. Do you see what I'm saying? Let me give you another example so we have total clarity on this. How does the world judge greatness? By how we lord it over other people, right? How does heaven define greatness? Let Jesus tell us. He said, you know that those who are regarded as rulers lord it over people and their top officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. In my kingdom, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. 
See Mark 10, 35 to 45. If we look at every single aspect of life, we will see that the world looks at them in one way and heaven looks at them in a totally different way. So may I suggest we throw out whatever we imagine all these gifts to be and look at them with totally fresh eyes. So what's piety? Very simply put, it is being the people God created us to be, pure, holy, and perfect. God tells us to do this, don't say it can't be done. Jesus lived such a life of piety. How was he able to do this? Because he was motivated. And what was his motivation? His love for his father. When you love someone, not only do you not want to hurt them, as I said yesterday, you also want to please them. So the love translates into obedience and for Jesus, it was obedience unto death. Consequently, if we want to be like Jesus, we simply need to love God. And this is very easy if we understand how much he loves us. And how can we not? He sent his only son to die for us. And the son actually did because he loved us too. How many people do you know would do that? And in the process, he ensured us a ticket into heaven. Now, isn't love the natural response to love? So what is the response to great love? Obviously, great love too. Therefore, if we love God, we will obey him. Jesus said this himself. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And what are his commandments? Just an instruction to love even more. I give you a new commandment, he said. Love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. <laughs> he says we should love each other just as he has loved us. And how did Jesus love us? Simply put, in three ways. One, with a love that is unconditional. Two, with a love that is forgiving. Three, with a love that is self-sacrificing. So if we are to love one another like Jesus loves us, it means that we have to accept everybody unconditionally. We have to forgive everybody constantly. And we have to be willing to die for everybody gladly. Now, what is the first thing you want to say? I know. Hey, I can't do that. I know you can't. Nobody can. Not on their own strength anyway. And this is why we need the Holy Spirit. And this is why we need the gift of piety that the Holy Spirit brings. And then we will be able to love one another just as Jesus loves us. You see now why we need these gifts? Without them, we're just wandering about trying to do godly things with human ability. Now, Let's start doing godly things with divine ability. So let us earnestly pray for this gift, the gift of piety today. But before that, just one point of note. In the story that we looked at on day one, I had the farmer share the treasure he had found because I believed he was a wise man. He had already shown his wisdom by his actions. And wise men know that there is great joy in sharing blessings. Like the farmer, we too have discovered treasure. We've discovered the treasure that is Jesus and the eternal life he brings. Now, if there is one thing I know that will make our Father in heaven happy, it is seeing his children come home. Let our love bring them home. Now let's pray as I recite the prayers. Please do recite them along with me. May the Spirit be with you. Come, Holy Spirit, and let my heart be possessed by piety and kindle in it such a love for God that I may find satisfaction only in His service and lovingly submit to all legitimate authority for His sake. Let this love then extend to my brothers and sisters, especially those most in need of it. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. On my knees I bow before you, Holy Spirit. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought. Grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you, and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. I now stand at the foot of the cross on which Jesus died, and covering myself with the precious blood of Christ, and surrounding myself with his holy light, I implore you, sweet Spirit of the living God, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Spirit of the Father and the Son, please give me the grace to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, before you ascended into heaven, you promised to send your Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. It is a promise you fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. Thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit too, whom I need, so that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. Grant me the spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. Grant me the spirit of counsel, that I may always choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. Grant me the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. Grant me the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in your love. Grant me the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. Grant me the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open
open myself to your spirit, oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. I open myself to your grace, oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. I seek your gifts, my Lord. I need understanding and power. I ask for your counsel and mind. Give me your wisdom, of God. I open myself to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord. Send down your fire from above. I need to bear fruit, my Lord. Joy, peace, patience, and love. I want to be gentle and kind. Give me self control, of God. I open myself to your grace, O oh Lord. I open myself to your love. I open myself to your spirit, O oh Lord. Send down your fire from above